Thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Thousands of people travel over the Washington Bridge on the East on the East Providence Providence line daily. But recently that bridge was being used for something else. Now this sounds strange, but there were people actually living inside of it. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live in studio with those details. Matt. Mike, Kim, shock and disgust. That's how those I spoke with today described these photos. They say this is just another example of why having affordable housing and shelters is so critical for those living here in Rhode Island. These photos taken by the Rhode Island Department of Transportation back in March after they say they were alerted to homeless people living here inside of the operator towers at the Washington Bridge Linear Park, just feet from where thousands travel every single day. Oh my God, that's disgusting. This is Armin Peralt's genuine reaction to seeing these photos for the first time. A Vietnam veteran who says more needs to be done for those living on our streets. This, this should not happen in this country. This just should not be happening in this country. Just think of, oh, disease and things and rats and what they have to live into. And for Charlotte King. Yeah, that's, nobody should look like that. That's really sad. She says this is just another example of the underlying issue here in Rhode Island, a lack of affordable housing. Yeah, I mean, housing is a human right. We're not like, you know, providing that for people. And it's, you know, this is, this is what we get. We get homeless people when we don't provide people with affordable homes. A spokesperson for the Department of Transportation says it's unclear at this point how many people were living inside or where they are now. But as you can see, additional security measures to prevent access to the towers have been taken. Yesterday, Governor Dan McKee announced more than $100 million to help with affordable housing. But as the state's housing czar, Stefan, Stefan Pryor, I apologize, acknowledged these projects are still years away. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.